Hey there, did you know that 1.3 million Wisconsinites rely on Medicare? But Republicans have new plans to attack the program. Let's dive into the story. First, the Republican Study Committee released a budget proposal that in addition to raising the Social Security retirement age and severely restricting reproductive freedom, it calls for restructuring the Medicaid program into a premium support model. Seniors would receive a subsidy that they could use on private plans competing against traditional Medicare. This could lead to thousands of dollars of additional out-of-pocket costs for American seniors across the United States. Secondly, the Far Right's Project 2025 calls to make Medicare Advantage the default enrollment option for newly eligible Medicare beneficiaries. If this policy were to be implemented, it would mean the end of traditional Medicare model, as well as the foundational promise that seniors can go to any doctor or provider who accepts Medicare Thirdly, if Trump is re-elected in November, he could get his chance at brokering Medicare prices for drugs and potentially hinder efforts to lower drug costs. A Trump administration could decide to drop the federal government's defense against lawsuits from drug companies. Doing so could effectively kill the drug negotiation program. In contrast, President Biden has repeatedly vowed to defend and protect both Medicare and the Inflation Reduction Act. There's a lot more details to this story, so head over to Up North News to learn more.